Uh, character. The deep breathing always mixes people up. Like, well, I died to that at 60, but here we are. We're going to start on PS2, everyone's favorite stage. This, so this matchup in particular is a very strange one, not just because both of the characters that are on screen aren't often seen, but because the interactions between their little tools is so big in the grand scheme of things, between the header ball and Gordo's bouncing around constantly, the unorthodox zoning tools that both of these characters who have decent boxing tools. Right. Like, there's going to be so many weird interactions. I'm going to love to see a lot of the ledge play. And Adamus keeping people at the ledge has always been a strong suit of his play. Right, definitely. His edge guarding is definitely something that a lot of people look at. And it's totally awesome. I mean, the Gordo there technically saved John. He would have died to that down smash. But he's going to try and get the stock now. John kind of struggling to find neutral here. He's just kind of, kind of getting hit from side to side of the stage. I think it's a matter of Adams having a better idea of what he needs to do for keeping people at hammer range than John has an idea of at least breaking that zone. Because right. we fit for all of her combo potential and all of her damage output, she still requires being right on top of her opponent. We fit still living at 170, getting hit by a boat ton of Gordos here. Gonna get the back throw. Charging up the sun salutation. Ooh, goes for it. Still not gonna die, man. Yo, I don't know what it is about this character, but Weefit refuses to die. The fact that she can heal herself, the fact that she has a slender frame, it takes so much effort to take a stock off, but Adamus is gonna break the first blood. And at least with Stadium, he doesn't have to push the approach too heavily. And that first stock, believe it or not, was almost a minute and a half. So we're in for a long one here, folks. Ooh, Wait, this, okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking to see. Yeah, no, the, ten, the soccer ball is definitely something that I'm waiting to see John use more to reflect Gordos, because he was getting hit by a lot of Gordos in the first stock. Ooh, okay. Using it more of a disrupt now, I like it. Gonna bait it out, but Adam is gonna get the tilt. That's another thing I'm worried about, is the multi-hit moves that DDD has getting mixed in with the soccer ball from Header, because <laughs> it's gonna lock John out from being able to DI out of them properly. He's just gonna eat tons of damage. Right, just like he's eating kind of tons of damage now, trying to find his footing, I mean, Adamus not exactly killing him quickly, so it's giving him time, a, a little bit of time to figure it out, but the Gordo stick, not gonna last as long as I thought it would. Yeah, it was mostly good stalling on John's half. I, I, I like that Adamus was trying to be a little bit patient with it, and his, his efforts are paid off because he still manages the stock. But like, I'm trying to figure out if it's John just doesn't know what's happening as far as the matchup is concerned, right. or if Adamus has a really good idea of how to fight a slender character. I mean, Adamus also alts this character on the DL. I remember a long time ago, he was definitely Ooh. taking interest in Wii Fit Trainer, for sure. So... That's gross. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna front, that's gross. This is the character Ooh, that, like... Tilt. Kills again, oh my from god! From center stage? All right, John. All right, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe that. Deep breathing is definitely super good. Hits it back. I think that's what we've seen John struggle with the most out of this set, is that he just keeps getting hit by Gordos. And, you know, it's kind of frustrating when you get hit by projectiles over and over again. And especially with Adamus edge guarding, like, it's gonna be hard for him to, you know, untilt himself and get out of that. Yeah, John not looking too happy, especially with the end of that game one. Uh, I don't know if the Wii Fit's coming back out. I, I, I kind of wanted to. I think he was figuring out figuring it out along the way for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the Me Sword Fighter switch. I mean, he has the re if depending on the custom move set, right? He has uh, he has the reflect, so he could do that for he could do that for Gordo. But I really just think John was struggling with Gordos the entire time, and you know he would get those tilts and that would kill at kind of crazy percents. But overall, Adam is very commanding first game from him. Seeing as we're getting the full run back on Stadium 2, this was actually a little bit what I was worried about because I felt like Adamus was controlling the stage really well. Right. The fact that Didi's able to linger around the platforms gives him full control of a, a solid half of the stage once he pushes his opponent to ledge. Right. And John, I feel, isn't, for once, playing patiently enough. And I, I gotta disagree with him going straight to the ledge there. I mean, in game one, we really saw Adamus shine on that ledge. Returning to neutral there in center. I like it here, but... He just, it kind of just feels like he has nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah. He's just kind of running away. Like the patented John Numbers game plan of keep the ledge and hold it for dear life Ooh. doesn't really work when your opponent excels at that type of a play. Right. And he's playing a character that can ledge trap fairly well. And I mean, this stock is going a little bit better. Definitely a lot slower than game one. 
which I can appreciate players that slow it down and you're like, all right, you know what, like I definitely got bodied game one. Let's see what I can do game two, especially going back to the same stage. You know, he's confident and he scoops that first stock right now. Yeah, it looks like he took a different approach to the zoning. Like he's trying to play a little bit more of the space game. The runaway is forcing Animus to at least chase him. Right. And if anything, that's always good. Keeping DDD mobile forces him to get out of his position where he can set up shop with the Gordo, mm -hmm. position himself with his aerials. Because despite the fact that he could position himself really well with his multiple jumps, he's still very slow in the air. So it takes time for him to get this. John has successfully looped Animus on the second stock, looking a lot different from game one. Animus Rebels. needs this needs this stock right now. I'm thinking of something you mentioned in game one where you brought up how it took the first minute for anyone to even get close to losing their stock. Right. But now Adamus chilling on his last stock. We're not that deep in. Oh god, you hate to see that. Just ugh. And John is just building up massive damage way better than we've seen previously. Like, look at this. Not gonna die from the Gordo here. We saw game one. He can take a couple Gordo hits before getting sent off stage. Ooh, nice spot dodge by John. Like the weight out of the ball, gets the dash attack. Ooh. Oh, I love it when he does it. Ooh. And that's gonna be a three stock game too. Adam is smiling, shaking his head <laughs> like, oh God. Because <laughs> he got hit with the D Gen stuff. The D Gen stuff. Because John see. used to do that a ton in Smash 4, and that's something that a lot of uh, Wii Fits that are playing the character in the current meta have right. been taking advantage of, extending the hitboxes with the header ball. And using up Smash, that's like the like the go-to option because mm -hmm. that's the one you want to linger. Mm -hmm. Managed to work out really well for John. Kind of glad that I'm seeing the, the Wii Fit now. And I'm kind of glad that we're actually going to a different stage. We're going to Smashville, which I think is one of DDD's best stage. I think small stages for DDD are pretty good, especially knowing Adam as the edge guarder that he is. He loves to drop down and get that bear, drop down, get that bear. So I'm excited to see, but I, this stage might also benefit Wii Fit Trainer, in my opinion. I mean, those tilts kill rather early, so we'll see. Game three. Starting out for John Numbers and Animus, 1-1. One, one. Here we go. What I'm most curious about is seeing how control of the platform takes the stage, because I feel like Animus doesn't have to put as much effort into traversing from one ledge to the other. And then, on the same note, John doesn't have to worry about traveling so far when he's going from ledge to ledge. Looking a little bit even here in the first couple seconds of the match. I, I like how John's playing it much more passively. He's pushing at his advantage and then running away and like being like, all right, like I have no idea what I'm doing. Hits it with the Sun Salutation, goes for the ball. Just, all right, you know what? I'm just going to chill, charge my projectiles. Gets the deep breathing in. This should be stock soon. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's it's coming in fast. One thing Ooh. that I really like that John's been doing is he's not going as committal with a lot of his options. Like, he's trying to get, like, the very edge like of his I moves. Like I said, that tilt. He's whiff punishing, and it's looking nice out here. He's not committing too hard to his projectiles. Right. He's forcing Adam to get out of a comfort zone. And I feel like that's super important with the character specialist like that. Right, for sure. I like the standard get up there from John. Adam is struggling to get this stock now. Gets the tilt again. The Wii Fit's tilts are so good. Especially on a big body like DDD. Oh, for sure. Like forward tilt's covering so much space. Big bodies are scary in this game, but they are still combo food, whether you like it or not. Of course, it's the scripture of Smash. Like you trade off being able to survive forever. I like the I like anything. the inhale on the tennis ball to just you know or tennis ball the soccer ball to take it right back. Nice down smash at the edge, and that's gonna be it for Adamus. The crowd gonna kind of get hyped up for their hometown hero here. Gonna yeah, get the go. up throw into the up air. Like Jersey immediately in the crowd, oh, and then course. even on top of that, John, while he's very beloved by the city crowd, isn't one of those players that you typically tend to root for just because he always does something wacky or unorthodox or Ooh. what a lot of people will claim is boring. But the Wii Fit is something we haven't seen in a long time, and if we have seen it, it's been on the low, and John isn't very confident Ooh, I about like that. it. But John's fishing play, a lot for more soccer ball, and he's definitely getting punished for it. It's like what we saw in game one, right. where the projectile play just kept on getting bounced back, and Adams was taking advantage of it. But the more that nice. John clocks it back, the better it's looking for him. That down air is going to kill. John sitting at 89. This isn't not doable for Adamus, especially with a couple big chunky hits like that. But yeah, he needs to make the second stock of uh, John's disappear if he really wants a good chance. Right. Goes for the up tilt. You know, DDD's up tilt really kills kind of kind of early. I think that would have killed if it had connected. But I really, what I really like about John's play right now is that he is actually mixing up his recoveries a lot. Either standard get up, mixing with the ball. He's always keeping Adamisk on his feet, and I guess that's what's working here. Because it seems like whenever he comes up from the ledge, Adamisk is always taking some percent, whether it be 10, 15, 20. But here we go, last stock, game three. 
And 87% on a DDD isn't that much. Oh yeah, definitely not. Especially when DDD hits that hard. John Number sitting at 23 after that. Ooh, I like the runaway. Interesting. It's like the John Classic. He doesn't want to commit too hard if he knows he's not going to win. Right. Ooh, Ooh but that, that was a wayward inhale. Definitely a misinput. Adam is definitely kicking himself for that one. That could be the situation that gives things back Ooh, to John. Ooh, gets hit by the Gordo in the air. You do not want to be above DDD, especially in Rage. Ooh, goes for the signature back air. We haven't seen Animus hit a lot of those back airs this set, but the soccer ball gonna meet Gordo again. All right, deep breathing. This is as neck and neck as it's gonna get. Deep breathing. But we got max rage, oh. DD, but that's gonna be it. Another inhale seals the fate as John takes the 2 1 over Adamus. Yeah. And the Wii Fit is officially back on the map. You can definitely tell that Adamus misinputed twice on those on those inhales. You know, he was def actually, was that a misinput? Or is John just smooth like that? Let's see, he canceled it out oh, of it. Oh, okay, he's just smooth. It was just a poor reaction from Adamus. <laughs> right. If I he, mean, he was technically stuck in the animation, I believe. He was, it takes forever. I mean, that's uh, that's the issue with some unorthodox tools like that. Like, Inhale has a lot of really good uses. It just right. takes forever and a half to come out. <laughs> so like, if you're not re like really ahead of your opponent, mm -hmm. what good's it gonna do for you? Right, exactly. I'm